thank you uh, for coming on this uh, webinar. I know how hard it is to find even an hour in, in a busy working day. Uh, my name is Marius Frank and I am the, the uh, Youth Justice Lead at Microlink Education. Many of you know me from my time at Achievement for All. We have been working with the Association of Youth Offending Team Managers now for the last uh, eight to nine years on improving outcomes for young people with complex needs in youth justice pathways. This is the seventh one of our uh, webinars where we are featuring uh, child first effective partnership practice. The partnership practice bit is so important because a youth offending service should not do the heavy lifting alone. We are working now with over 60 youth offending uh, teams and their associate services throughout the country. And the quality of work that we are seeing is truly inspirational. These webinars enable us to share some of the best practice we see as we see it. And literally just a few months ago, I was so fortunate to be working with Barnett towards uh, getting their child uh, first commendation in a quality lead uh, framework. It was a wonderful experience and we are delighted to welcome Caesar from, from uh, the, the team in Barnet, who today is going to tell us a little bit about strategy, how Barnet has created a strategic framework that is child first in almost everything that they do. These things don't happen by chance, these things don't happen overnight. It's been a journey. And uh, Caesar, welcome, sir. I, I, I would love you to uh, to introduce yourself and to take control. And when you share your screen, make sure the sounds uh, enabled because we love to hear your video as well that you've got to share. Over to you, Caesar, please. You're still muted. Perfect. We're off. Yes. Thank you, um, Marius. Um, it's now afternoon, so good afternoon, everyone, and for those people who are in this webinar. My name is Cesar Tan. I'm the service manager of the Barnet Youth Justice Service, um, and uh, I will be presenting um, in the next few minutes um, our um, uh, beautiful work in, in, in Barnet Youth Justice Service. Shall I present it, I'll present it now, Marius? Perfect. Go for it. Yep, we got it now. Perfect. You can see it? Yep, yep. Okay, perfect. So in today's uh, webinar, um, as Marius already uh, indicated, we will be presenting a Child First Effective uh, uh, Partnership Practice Webinar and, and how we embed um, all of this in our strategic vision in, in Barnet Youth Justice Service. Um, as we all know, uh, under the Crime Disorder Act, um, we need to uh, yearly, we need to uh, create our own strategic vision and plan for the youth justice in in in, in um, our, all local authorities. Uh, and this plan needs to be um, co-work with partnership. And uh, in Barnet, we are very fortunate because we have a strong partnership um, in 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 all uh, um, areas of uh, youth justice service. So this presentation is uh, 23 slides, but I will endeavor to make it succinctly. Um, I know Marius shared the um, uh, Barnet Youth Justice uh, Action Plan or Strategic Plan 2023-2025 um, before this webinar. So the strategic plan is very, very detailed. So I would like you to um, have a look at it later, but this presentation is just a summary of, um, of the strategic plan. I will endeavor in the next few minutes to um, discuss to you the Barnet local context, our population, our demographics, our vision, as well as the plan. There is a, a line here because you can click control, click that, and it will go to our Barnet website. So Barnet Justice has a dedicated website under 
uh, um, London Borough Barnet, whereby you can see all the resources, all the information about Barnet UHSC service. And then I will also endeavor to talk to you about our governance and leadership, particularly strategic and operational um, 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 interface. Also, um, I would like to talk to you about partnership, support, and services across our partnership as to how we're going to deliver um, this um, strategic plan. Um, we also have staffing. Um, I, I, I include the, the structure chart so that you will see um, how many partners are co-located to work with us in Barney Justice Service in order to deliver this uh, strategic, strategic plan. And uh, coming from the title, um, we would like to um, uh, show to you, showcase to you, our child first um, uh, activities and initiatives in Barnet to ensure that we keep children and young people at the heart uh, and the center of what we're doing. Um, we will that includes partnership working and co-production with young people, and then our strategic priorities. There are seven of them. And then what is our plan looking forward? And at the end of it, that would be a question and answer from uh, people who are currently um, uh, in this um, webinar. So Barnet. Barnet is the largest population of all London boroughs. Uh, in 2020, um, our population was estimated to be 400 2,000, uh, 400, 2,700, of which quarter um, are children. Uh, around 47,000 are children aged 10 to 19 years old. We have 130 schools in the borough, and 97% of Barnet school are good or outstanding, and Barnet is now in the top 10% for almost all measures of achievements and the top 5% for many of the measures. We have a very richly diverse community in Barnet. 48.6% of these are children attending Barnet School, are from Black and global majority background, and 52% of primary and 38.2% of secondary pupils speak English and additional languages. And there are 182 languages spoken in schools across the borough. Overall, 52% of the um, 0 to 19 population in Barnet are from Black and global majority um, ethnic background. Um, and that would be, let me just hold this on the top, as an um, a background and compared to 30% uh, across England. Barnet has lower level of deprivation than most other London boroughs, although fifth of children um, in the 10 to 19 age range, live in most deprived part of the borough. Barnet is 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 uh, is very well privileged. We are rich as a borough. However, there are pockets of uh, of deprivation. The percentage of children at secondary school age um, in receipt of free school meals, which is 13.1 percent, is in line with national average, and rate is higher for children in nursery, primary setting at 16.7 percent against 14.5% nationally. There are 80.6 crime per 1,000 people, lower than London average of 82.9 per 1,000. 94% of children surveyed are happy to live in Barnet, and 89% of them agree Barnet is a family-friendly place. Ofsted, CQC joint Area sent inspection in March 2022 did not identify any aspect of service requiring a written statement of action, and Barney is now a regional expert for send. In October 2023, um, as you probably already uh, aware of, we received our Youth Justice Send Quality Lead Award with Children First Commendation. Barnett was judged by Ofsted to be good in all areas of our inspection. Um, of local authority children's services I lack in 2019, and we are also um, expecting our inspection uh, hopefully next year. 97% of Barnet schools are judged to be good or outstanding. 
And fortunately, yeah, we are very proud to say that uh, last year, uh, May, um, we were um, inspected by um, um, HMIP to be um, good. Um, and uh, we managed to get the outstanding feature in partnership and service under the organizational delivery domain. Inspector noted um, in terms of high quality of work in safeguarding, governance arrangement and work with partners. The inspection also highlighted um, the in-house speech and language therapy, educational psychologist, and we have our own internal Barnet integrated clinical services whereby uh, in Barnet Justice Service, we're very fortunate we got a clinical practitioner who is a forensic psychologist in background, and we also have our own youth justice liaison and diversion worker working with young people in, in, in custody. Um, Barnet, Barnet Youth Justice Service uh, last year received uh, an award, You Make a Different Stuff Award 2022, Improvement of the Year category. And uh, in Barnet Youth Justice Service, we also promote um, learning opportunities uh, for student social workers. And we managed to get an award back in March 2023, which um, in our view, the award at the testimony of London Borough of Barnet commitment to recognize and value the Barnet senior management, um, youth justice service staff, partners, contribution to positive outcome for children and young people in the youth justice system. What is our vision in Barnet? So the London Borough Barnet wants all children and families living in our borough to be safe, healthy, resilient, knowledgeable, responsible, informed, listened to, and involved. When we say involved, we love co-production with children and young people. And in Barney Youth Justice Service Partnership, have, we've adopted the child first, offender second principle. And this is woven throughout the Youth Justice Plan 2023 to 2025. We also aligned our priorities, our seven priorities with the Boros Children's Plan 2023 to 2027, which sets Barnet family friendly vision and our aspiration for all children and families under these four headings, safe and secure, family and belonging, health and well-being, education and learning. Now, Barnet Youth Justice Service has its own vision. And together with our youth justice service and partners, we have developed this value statement to underpin our practice. We believe that in Barnet, our vision for children in contact with the youth justice service is based on the belief that children have the right. I just need to to be to be able to feel safe and protected from any form of harm. We believe they deserve to be given a second chance chances so they can do well in education and have opportunities available to them as they become adult. We believe children should be treated with understanding, shared respect, and we are open with each other. This allow us all to build on the things that we are good at. So children can move forward with life at pace that works for them and their own needs whilst also making sure their order is completed and no harm is caused to members of public, victims, or others around them. Barnet values children's voice and what they have to say about their own experiences in their life. We will work to support them to challenge times they have not felt heard or have been discriminated against. Now, our Barnet Youth Justice Plan is Benil, or it's two year. Um, it's shaped by local data. We use our data to shape our practice and deliver our intervention, shared understanding of the needs of young people in Barnet who are the greatest risk of offending. The multi-agency partnership is strong and well-established, mature, collaborative and engaged in strategic and operational level with active contribution evidence in delivery. There is a strong interface of work 
of literacy service across services. Our plan places young people in front, center, and set out clear expectation, making sure that the voice of the child is there and to be included how we develop and deliver our services to them. Racial disparity has been recognized and responded by our partners. We have a disproportionality action plan whereby the clear set of target, but we also embedded this in our strategic uh, priorities um, in this two-year plan. Our local delivery is effective at reducing the volume of young people becoming first-time intern, reoffending and entering custody. Our, our, our rates are lower than London and, and, and national average. In the next slide, I don't know whether you can you can you can see it, but this is how we are integrated in Barnet. We are very fortunate back in 2019, we are now part of children's services. Um, because of that, our resources uh, is much more bigger. We are well integrated. Um, partners from other um, teams are well co collaborated with us. We work with different um, multitudes of partners. In the middle, that's Barnet Youth Justice Service, and we are we are um, collaborating and um, connecting with other different teams and services. In this next slide, I would like to give you a heads up that in our Youth Justice Action Plan 2023-2025, in I think it's page um, page fifty nine, there are. Um, very um, uh, robust and and a lengthy um, uh, narrations of our partnership support and services um, in in Barnet. But what I have included in this presentation is just a summary of them. Um, in Barnet Youth Justice um, uh, Plan, um, voice of the child is very very apparent. We uh, in, we need to ensure the inclusion of children, young people into the Youth Justice Management Board. Um, they made their own feedback. They say to us what they wanted to be. Uh, we invited the children and young people in the board meeting as well as parents. We also created our uh, Parents Champion Network. Um, later on, I will show to you a video of our residential activities. Um, we have an agreed funding to uh, run a residential program. We've uh, established this program back in 2019. Uh, there was a pause back in COVID, but we managed to resume. And this and last August, uh, that would be our fourth residential program, whereby we have taken um, numbers of young people uh, outside of the borough to be as children and engage in a positive activities. Um, we are very fortunate as well in Barnet that we have a seconded probation officer from the national uh, from the probation service, whereby. It strengthened our collaboration and our settlement and aftercare panel meeting, whereby all children and young people are transitioning from uh, body youth justice service to probation, um, are smoothly and uh, well supported. Um, part of the criteria for the Sand Quality Marks uh, Lead Award um, is to ensure that we promote education um, to our uh, specialist education provision within Barnet. And we are very lucky in Barnet that we have our own educational psychologist seconded into the team. There are two of them. Uh, I will show to you later on in terms of our structured charge. We also have Po 16 Bells who work with us. We are AQA accredited um, uh, establishment. And at the same time, we have our uh, um, partnership with our virtual school. Um, we have a pupil placement panel as part of our exclusion panel whereby we work with all children and young people under our service to bridge the gap when they've been excluded in school. We also have our own victim um, uh, coordinator and in Barnett Family Services, we have a victim app. We managed to put that in place to make sure that uh, in the work that we do in terms of delivering intervention with children and young people, uh, the victim's voice is, is heard and part 
of the process of the intervention with children and young people who are in our system. Um, in Barnet, we're very uh, fortunate because we're the first um, uh, London boroughs to have a North Central London accommodation pathfinder. The um, Camden po a bit, they are the, 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 the lead for, for this, but the first residential uh, placement for children and young people is in Barnet. Um, and, and this is geared toward um, uh, black uh, and global majority children, young people who are at risk of uh, of custody, and and we work with them in terms of that risk and vulnerability, and 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 place them in in our borough. We also have our joint protocol for homeless, 16, 17 year old uh, children and young people as part of our resettlement. Our U court is is well embedded and very strong to us. We receive quite a lot of feedback, positive feedback from our U uh, court, and they also provide us um, uh, information how we could strengthen better our our partnership. We also delivered uh, mutually trainings to our magistrate um, judges and district judges, like for example, out of court disposal. Why is out of court disposal recently changed some legislation? around um, um, uh, the, the, the new uh, substance, um, how we could work together to make sure that we promote out of court disposal uh, um, provision um, and not necessarily giving young people a court sentence. Uh, again, as I have said, um, in Barnet, we are very fortunate because Barnet Integrated Clinical Services is in-house. So we don't need to uh, uh, queue with our uh, NHS comes in order to receive provision. We have it in-house. We have a, our pharmacy clinical psychologists in, in, in the team, and as well as across family services, and they are placed in, in different schools. We work closely with our um, early health service. They are believing intervention for our out of court disposal, uh, linked to community resolutions, and they are also part of our positive activities. Our public health, um, also provide us um, in terms of change grow leave, which is substance misuse, um, group sexual health services like our child sexual abuse center, and we have our, our, our nurse in the service. Um, we also have our transitional safeguarding a youth to adult interface as part of the resettlement and aftercare. Um, we've just uh, established our turnaround program back in December 2022, and we are also fortunate in Barnet, we have our project engaged, funded by um, Violence Reduction Unit via MOPAC. Um, so we are the lead for the Triborough, Barnet, Brandon Harrow, uh, in terms of providing support to children and young people who are in the periphery of the, uh, of the youth justice service, whereby when they've been arrested in custody, we are there to, um, to capture and provide support at the earliest opportunity. The next slide is basically the structure chart of the service. Um, as you can see, um, there's quite a lot of partners around us, um, and each uh, each partners have their own specific um, lead and task. Um, but the oversight of that is uh, basically from our director of, of, of Early Health and Children's Social Care, which is Tina McElega, our head of service. But on top of our head of service, there is a clinical lead, which is Nicola Labouche. Um, she's the big clinical lead of Barnet Integrated Clinical Services. And we have a head of service from Early Health work hand in hand with the her, with the head of Youth Justice Service, uh, um, Emergency Duty Team, Lado, Mash, Rich, and IOM, which is Sarah Marshall. And uh, under Sarah, um, it's me, and um, um, basically I have oversight of the Youth Justice Service in Bornet. But as you can see, there's quite a lot of them at the bottom, and each operational manager have their own lead that includes myself. Um, you can, because um, we are running out of time, you can you can see this in the Youth Justice Action Plan, and it will talk to you about the staffing in the service and our roles and responsibilities. Now, this slide talks about keeping children and young people at the center 
of what we are what we've been doing in in Borneo. Um, we managed to establish my say matters, bringing the voice of young people to the center of our decision making. We love co production with children and young people, as you can see in the uh, in the slide, the squala of uh, photos. We managed to get consent from our children and young people to uh, share this to you guys. Um, we develop whiteboard uh, project video. We develop leaflets, court booklets, and positive and reparation activities across Barnet. We uh, partners with Town Centre uh, uh, Regeneration Project to ensure that all children and young people who are open to us are able to pay back um, to the community. We also, as I've said to you a while ago, we've delivered residential program for the past um, four years now. And this residential program is geared toward building self-esteem of children and young people, build their resilience by providing new opportunities for personal growth and learning, developing young people's skills, and, and, and the aim of encouraging them to be our local mentors. So since 2019, when we established residential program and take children and young people, group of young people outside Barnet, we managed to build, uh, develop our own local mentors. And that mentors help our residential program mentor other children and young people. Um, uh, it, it is very um, impactful and very um, powerful activities that we uh, gave to our young people to empower them. Uh, there were children and young people have said to us in their feedback that for um, many years that they've been in, 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 in Barnet, this is the first time that they managed to go out and be as children to, to um, engage in, in, in positive activities um, uh, outside Barnet. In this next slide, uh, this is a video. Um, it's a video that we developed back in 2021. There's another video that we've uh, 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 developed, but it's not yet ready. But I would I would like to share this to you guys. Uh, Marius, uh, tell me if uh, it's it's working and you can hear it. Yes, the Barney Yos Residential Good. Program. <laughs> you hug each other. No? Yeah. Wibble it, wibble it. No, 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 they can't, they can't. Yay! <laughs> to respond to the call for the Child First Offender Second, Barney Eos delivered another five day residential program from the 16th to the 20th of August 2021 for minoritized children and young people aged 14 to 16 year old currently subject to a youth justice order to experience positive child-centered activities and experiential learning during the summer holidays. This program was established back in October 2019 with the objectives to help divert children and young people from offending build their resilience, strengths, self-esteem, and offering them new opportunities with the aim of encouraging them to be local mentors. Our young people had the opportunity to learn basic life skills such as cooking, food, and hygiene, reflexology, survival skills, problem solving, communication, leadership, and teamwork through participation in outdoor and adventure activities facilitated by the staff from Treefwood Scout campsite in Brentwood in Essex. Our children and young people were supported by the multi-agency staff and specialist partners who worked tirelessly throughout the week to deliver the program and passionately engaged with the young people in meaningful relationship-based work and develop trusting relationship. Nine children and young people joined the residential program. One of them was a participant the previous year and after successfully completed the program, his order was revoked 
and he no longer reverted to the criminal justice system and became our local mentor in the US. It was indeed a great opportunity and once in a lifetime memorable event for our children and young people. Senior managers, staff, together with some of the parents and siblings, attended the last day to celebrate their achievements and spend time with the children and young people before handing out trophies and remembrance jumpers. We look forward to our next residential program. So, so um, again, um, this, this video is very impactful for us because these are children and young people who are in the system. These are children and young people who um, offended but managed to um, you know, change the life and um, we we are very fortunate in Barnet because we have now four mentors from our previous residential program supporting other children who are in the system in order for them to desist from uh, uh, offending and further offending. Again, um, we continue to organize and facilitate positive activities that aim to prevent and divert children and young people from offending and further offending. Um, by promoting young people's participation, we establish healthy relationship, develop them, uh, develop the uh, self-confidence and strength and resilience. We help empower and teach young people basic skills. Some of these young people that we have, I would like to know that they have learning needs. Some of them have newer developmental needs. However, when you bring them out from that um, from that positive activities, you will you will notice that most of these children love to be as children. They've been um, they've been um, uh, offending. They've been in the system for quite a while, but they manage to engage with us and put down that barrier. Um, what we found from our previous residential program was that. Most of these children and young people, when you are in the interview room in the office and you interview them, some of them, they are hypervigilant because of the trauma, because of the adverse childhood experience. But when you bring them out into uh, 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 positive activities, outdoor positive activities, all of those barriers goes down. And everything about the family script, they will share it to you. And that's where you can... Um, basically engage with them positively and develop trusted relationship. We also support young people through their transition and, and those, sorry, um, and, and into adulthood as to why we have a very um, strong partnership in terms of our resettlement and aftercare panel meeting. When delivering this program, these positive activities with children and young people, we involve our partners, we involve our community volunteers, we involve their parents to deliver this program. Our York Police is part of the process, our Change, Grow and Live is part of the process, our community volunteers is part of the process, our big Smart Integrated Clinical Services is part of the process, and our staff in education, as well as um, uh, staffing team in the Youth Justice Service. Partnership and working, uh, partnership working and participation is the key and the center of how co-production work. We even go to the family home of a young person, clean up their garden, and because he's uh, uh, criminally exploited, we set up the CCTV and they do it themselves because they don't want to go out and having CCTV in front of them, it deter uh, an elders to come to the house to exploit them. We also develop and, and, and deliver reparation activities for our children and young people. We take them out for go-karting in Watford. And uh, we also have flower bank, um, libraries. They grow their own uh, um, uh, vegetables in Canada Villa and, and, and cooking learning how to cook. Um, this year, we managed to partners with VIY, or Volunteer It Yourself, and um, 
children and young people um, refurbished our uh, decking at Canada Villa uh, for four weeks, and they managed to acquire um, AQA as well as uh, an accredited with level three CT and girls qualification. Um, and some of these young people are now working um, uh, after they completed the uh, qualification and certificate. We also partners with Southgate College in order to um, um, be part of the process. And these are now the product of, uh, of our children and young people. Now, in the next slide, this is the priorities of Barney Youth Justice Service. There were seven of them. So we believe that in the next two years, we need to strengthen and, and, and make our um, strong partnership, strategic partnership, uh, operational multi-agency leadership. We also need to um, get stronger in terms of our education. Um, we, we, we are already working strongly with our partners, but we need to make sure that children and young people have been excluded. We work with them and we work with our partners to make sure that we reduce our number of uh, not education need young people, not education training and employment. Part of our strategic priorities is also about working and tackling um, over-representation of black and global minority ethnic background in, in Barnet. We are um, also strong in our prevention and diversion, but we need to uh, uh, get this um, consistently as well as um, um, around um, serious youth violence and exploitation. Our resettlement and safeguarding is also one of our priorities, as well as uh, restorative justice and victims. So in summary, our youth justice plan aims to ensure our partnership has a collective understanding of youth justice service, the structural, social, educational inequalities that underpin offending behavior. Collaboration, informed and focused leadership across the range of agencies working with children at risk of offending or involved in offending and criminal justice system. Recognize that children hold solution to the challenges they face. We're just a facilitator. We're just basically supporting them, but they are the key in terms of desisting from offending. Um, recognize that children hold, uh, sorry, listen to and respond to the wishes and views of children using new justice service and encourage their meaningful participation in designing and monitoring our services. A fair and proportionate youth justice system, effectively engage parents and communities in understanding the, the, the drivers of youth justice and including them in finding solution to prevent offending and keeping children safe. So not only children, but as well as their parents and carer. Um, robust partnership data. So we will continue to use our data in order to shape a service and to ensure that multi-agency and community-led intelligence that is effectively shared and analyzed to prevent criminal exploitation. Evidence-based and creative school and community-based prevention and early help programs that are effectively address issues relating to social, low social media, friendships, grooming, healthy relationships, sexual health, and risk as they relate to exploitations, gang violence, and illicit drugs. And we have to recognize and respond to ensure children with additional vulnerabilities to exploitation are effectively safeguarded. And last but not the least, to support children to, su to successfully transition to adulthood. The last slide is about looking forward. I know the Youth Justice Action Plan is 60 plus pages, but we aim to target it. So we develop our priorities for the next three months and as well as six months and priorities for the next 12 months, which I will be sharing to you in the next slide, in the in the, in the, in the slides. Um, Marius, I don't know whether I'm timely and uh, 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 succinct, but think, I'm more than happy to receive any questions from, I, I, apart from the people in, the, uh, uh, in this webinar. Ladies and gentlemen, um, if you look on your toolbar, 
you will see a, a question and answer uh, button. If you click on that and you have any, have any uh, particular questions for, for, for Caesar, uh, I'll, I'll ensure that they're, they're passed on to him. Um, Caesar, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I, I have a couple of observations. Sure. Um, one of them is, is the fact uh, that you really have uh, developed a partnership approach um, across a range of agencies. And I think uh, for me, I'm just going to uh, share, my uh, share my screen for a moment. From your plan, this is the thing that, that lit me up. Uh, it, it looks complex. It looks um, huge. But what you have done is kind of mapped in every p potential uh, agency, service, or provision that you can draw on um, when you when you have a, a, a child um, uh, in crisis about to enter youth justice pathway. Um, for, for me, Caesar, where, where did, how did this um, journey um, sort of begin? Because it, it, this didn't happen overnight. This didn't happen overnight. Somehow, um, there was a strategic vision, perhaps around the child, not the offender. Now, that, that, that's quite a difficult transition. Um, I don't know how long you've been at the service, but when did you sense this move was going to happen? How was it triggered? It was a very long journey, uh, 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 Marius. I moved to Barnet back in 2019. Yeah. And uh, Barnet Youth Offending at that time, even our name has been changed. We rebranded it because we are trying to move away from that word offending now. We're trying to put uh, uh, that on end. So we use Barney Youth Justice Service because they are children. So back in 2019, um, Barney Youth Justice Service is silo. Yes. Uh, we, are, we are in Barney House in a different building and um, we are not well integrated, so to speak. Yes. Yes. So the Director of Children Services uh, from Early Health and uh, Safeguarding um, has a vision. And we share that vision. So I was recruited together with uh, uh, Sar Marshall, who is my, my my head of service across five different uh, uh, services and teams. And we say to ourselves, we need to make sure that we change this. Because the success of working with children and young people is basically about partners. There's a saying that you tell me that the, the, the leadership, because that mirrors how you deliver the service uh, from top to bottom. So we became part of the wider family services. And Sarah is the head of service for different services, MASH. So we capture children and young people every, uh, every morning. Uh, MASH is providing us all this information, safeguard children and young people. She's also the head of the LADO. She's also the head of the emergency duty team. And, and at the same time, she's the head of the rich team or vulnerable adolescence team, yes. which I have also oversight because I'm a social worker uh, by profession. Yes. And, and, and because of that, we manage to will integrate with other partners. Yes. And you need to make sure that you have a buy-in. If you want success from partnership, you need to have a buy-in from other partners. So we, we go to different uh, departmental meetings, even partners. Yes. And, and, and and challenge, put a challenge to them how we need to make this partnership stronger. Yes. So when HMIP um, came to us um, May of 20, sorry, uh, February, and the outcome came at, uh, I think, uh, May 2022, they, they, they basically uh, um, uh, noticed the change in terms of our partnership and, and it's uh, stronger as to why we managed to uh, get um, outstanding in terms of our, our partnership and service delivery. I think there's a question, Marius. Uh, it was just a thank you. <laughs> a thank you came off uh, for, from someone who has to log off. No, uh, that, that was fine. Um, the, the, the other thing uh, that, that uh, there's a couple of other bits I've got from uh, other people who, who were really interested in it. First of all, um, your use of peer mentors. I think that's absolutely fantastic. Tell me a little bit about uh, uh, that, and and maybe um, uh, I mean, are, are, is it totally voluntary? Do you fund these, and if you do fund them, how do you create the capacity to bring them in? So, all of these 
children and young people who became our mentor, we gave them a little bit. Yes. It's not a salary, yes. but it's a token, token yes. of gratitude. Remember, they are also part of the system before. Yes. And when they see change, um, in in terms of the in terms of their behavior, in terms of the lifestyle, they can mentor other people. And this is basically the vision. If you if you speak about child first and the second, you need to give children and young people the opportunity that they can make change. Could you imagine? Um, when you save one of these young people, it can save the rest of their generation. Yes. It can save their children. You yes. stop the cycle. So what we did in Barnet was we've identified. So we bring young people, but we identify and spot who got leadership skills, who got potential to be a mentor. Yes. And after the residential, we gave them quite a lot of, of, of training, quite a lot of activities that would boast more their leadership skills and became our mentor. Yes. So I think I think one of the challenges, one of the challenges, not only in Barney e Trustee Service, but other local authorities is about funding stream. You know, yes. uh, it's it's diminishing. We've we've um, we've uh, um, read this a lot in terms of our news that some other local authorities they have to um, uh, 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 save money in order to sustain the services, the, the, the delivery of services. In, in, in our case, we, we've, we've had that before, but yes. creativity is one. Yes. You need to involve your partners and community volunteers as part of the process, because that would also help you in terms of saving. You also need to, uh, 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 uh stretch your own partnership and staff within your justice service because they themselves got quite a lot of skills, knowledge, and when you empower them, they will also uh, uh, promote can-do attitude. Yes, yes. And and uh, uh, you know, in 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 Barnet, we promote career progression as yes. well as a student social worker. Um, yes. Back in two thousand nineteen, we we were like issues in terms of staffing. Yes. But we're fully staffed now. Some of those social workers that um, I mentored as, as part of Practice Educator uh, a program, they remain in the youth justice service and some of them are now in children's services. Fantastic. It, it, it helps in terms of retention. No. Uh, Caesar, um, that has been a, a hugely enlightening um, uh, webinar. It, it's wonderful uh, for people to actually share the vision and and actually see uh, the paperwork. Oh, when I saw your plan, I was just struck by your use of infographics, uh, not just page upon page of written script, but 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 basically things that brought the the whole um, partnership element of what you do alive. Um, so Caesar and the Barnett team, thank you so much for today. Um, for those people plugged in, um, you will get a recording of this and Caesar's slide deck in the next few days. Uh, Caesar, this is all also going to be shared with 220 other people who've registered to receive the information. Uh, and More I'm pretty happy. sure if, if anyone's got any further questions or advice and guidance, I can put, put them your way. Um, in the link of uh, Barney Youth Justice Service, if you click it, um, that's where our contact details, as well as there's quite a lot of resources there, like leaflets for the turnaround and engage. And 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 um, the whiteboard project is very, very powerful um, because it's an anime created by children and young people. So uh, please visit our website. Brilliant. Caesar, thank you. And thank, thank you, you, colleagues, for joining us today. And uh, we'll take a break at Christmas, but we'll be back again in the new year. Uh, and for those of you who are also interested, we'll be giving out some of the certificates, including Barnett's, if you can make it to rugby. Um, we for the there. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> uh, at the next Association of Youth Offending Team Managers meeting uh, early next month. Guys, thank you. Thank you, Caesar. Thank you. As thank you. For thank you all. Bye-bye. And, and thank you for your comments, Tracy. Yes, I felt it was informative and incredibly helpful too. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care. Thank you.